What is going on, everybody? Happy Monday. Bobby Fai here flying solo. Hope Sheets having a good time on his vacation in Italy. Uh, sorry about that for those of you guys. His projections probably won't be up till Wednesday for golf. Uh, it's a little hard for him to get internet where he's at right now. So apologies for that. Please do like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'm going to run through this slate real quick and talk about some thoughts. I also will be talking NBA live at 6 Eastern along with baseball. So you can catch me there as well. But real quickly to get into it, uh, favorite pitchers on the day. I think there's a lot of really good pitching options. I think you're playing like, you know, if you're playing cash, I guess you're playing one of Nola or Alcantara. I am leaning a little more Nola on FanDuel, a little more Al Alcantara on DraftKings, but I really think you could, you could flip a coin between those two. And then Manoa may be a little bit overlooked. I, I like the idea of pairing one of those guys with Manoa, um, who's going to get a little bit overlooked by those guys, but he'll still get some ownership as well. The next one down, uh, I think we're dumpster diving to uh, to Thompson and Miner, both at 47 and 4,300 respectively. I think you could play them together and stack up all the bats you want. I think they're both really, really good options and have enough of a ceiling and, and they, they should be able to throw 80 plus pitches at 4K in good matchups. I think that's good enough for me to take some chances there. So I'm going to take a little bit of Miner and Thompson at the bottom. Uh, in, the, in the middle, I do like Darvish a little bit. I think that he's the one who makes the most sense to me. I think some people can play uh, Alex Wood if you want. Again, I always worry about Alex Wood for the ceiling. I don't see it as much as other people might. And I personally am siding with Darvish as the lowish owned 8,400 play against a weak Cubs team. I know that the hitting weather is okay in Chicago today. But Darvish has been really, really good for the most part and certainly has a ceiling against a high, uh, just a bad Cubs offense. So I am going to go that route. That's what I'm doing on this slate. Uh, don't really think I'm going to get involved in anybody else. I considered even using a guy I like to stack against in Merrill Kelly, but uh, I'm not going to go there. I just think that I'd rather pay up or down. And I also considered a guy who I'm thinking about stacking against in Josiah Gray. Um, if if uh, I think that he's, you know, Atlanta has enough strikeout upside where Gray could, could be good. He, we know he's got a ceiling. He just flashed it uh, against Miami and, and Cincinnati. He put up 30 against Cincinnati and not Cincinnati, but he's had some big games this year and may get a little bit overlooked. He also gives a ton of power. So I do like Atlanta on the other side of that. To getting in and, and turning over to stacks, I do like Atlanta as a stack. I do like the cards. Uh, Toronto is my favorite again, big surprise. You know, you guys know I love Toronto. Uh, again, it's how you score runs and this team hits tons of home runs and I just really like this matchup for them. So Toronto is my favorite. I will be having some stacks of Braves. Uh, I consider considering the nationals, but I don't think I'm going to end up going there. Uh, the Cardinals, the Cincinnati mini stack. I don't mind. There's some cheap value pieces, uh, depending on how the lineup shakes out that we can use to sort of fill out some three mans. Uh, which I think makes some sense. And then I like Houston. Houston against Hearn. Uh, again, we, we haven't, Houston's offense has been definitely a little bit overrated. They haven't been as good this year. Overall, as a team, they've been pretty good, but they've got good pitching. Um, I, I think that, that their offense certainly makes a lot of sense. And it, Bregman is getting cheaper, but he's been really bad this year. My favorite bat would be Jordan Alvarez, uh, Altuve. And, and, and when I talk about these stacks, I really like everybody, you know, one through nine, I think is playable on both Houston and uh, Toronto, but it's Monday, it's a Monday. So we're going to have to see how the lineup shake out before I have totally a, a great feel for that. Some, some great one-offs. Um, I mentioned Alvarez, Buxton, even if you're not going to play uh, Toronto, I think that any of the big bats, especially Springer and Vlad are really, really solid options. Um, I think that you have some other one-off plays like Matt Olson. If you're not, even if you're not stacking the Braves, Ozzy Albies feels a little too cheap. Um, I don't know, not too cheap, fair enough, 4,800. Um, the other guys who I'm considering a little bit of are, are, are Luplo, uh, Christian Walker. These are all for one-off plays. Um, and I mostly though, I'm going to be sticking with my stacks, uh, four and five man, mostly I might do some, uh, might do a three, three, two on FanDuel, but probably going to mostly be four, two, one ones on FanDuel and on DraftKings, it'll mostly be five, two ones, five threes, five, one, one ones, or four, three ones, that kind of thing, maybe a four, four. That's where I'm at on today's slate. So I am going to be live at six Eastern. I uh, hope you guys can check me out then. And we'll talk a little NBA, a big game five coming up. I'm looking forward to watching it. Watched every game so far in this finals. And it's been a, it's been interesting. Steph has been unbelievable. Um, anyway, guys, good luck to everybody tonight. And uh, we'll hopefully see you at the top of the leaderboards. And we'll see you at six before that. Good luck, everybody.